Okay, I am outside Braemar, where I uh, recently completed the the uh, achievement for uh, finding all the special locations. And today, I'm going to do the same achievement for Owl's Head. So that's the Explore Owl's Head achievement. So first of all, I'm going to head up to Owl's Head. And I've started off in Braemar, so that you can see the way. It's not a complicated way, to be fair. But, you know, just in case, you can always skip this bit of the video if you know where it is. So once again, I will uh, trim the loading sequences and just get to the uh, business part of it. Alright, I'm uh, in Earl's Head. And as with uh, the Braemar achievement, the first one to check you've got is the south exit to the Hidden Vale. So there we go, it's appeared on my thing, it's appeared here. The next one is just over here, right near the exit. It's this portal. There we go, Lunar Rift. Now this goes to uh, Solace Bridge, which you should be familiar with by now. So, I'm going to take a uh, slightly circuitous route in order that, uh, you know, we end up with an interesting one for the last one. So what we need to look for is this road off to the left. We're going to head through uh, the posh part of Owl's Head. A whole bunch of castles and stuff. Some uh, public vendors lying around. And what we're aiming for, after we've gone over this bridge, is the west exit. So you go over this bridge, it's over a river there. There's some nice castles either side. There's some steampunk windmills on the top of the hill. We're going to carry on round to the west, past all the big houses where all the rich people live. Oh, there are look, some empty plots and stuff. I don't know whether they've been claimed and just not had castles put them on yet. Or, uh... but there we go. It's a bit of a long run, which is why I didn't want to save this one till last. And you can see the gate there, just over the hill. And you have to go through the force field to get it to count, but it shouldn't be very far through. There we go. So, south exit, lunar rift, west exit. Three. There are 12 in total in Owl's Head. So, uh, yeah. They're all relatively straightforward, if a little far apart. The rest of them are all a bit closer together in the... Uh, the main part of town inside the walls and then the sort of market street you know well i don't know whether you'd call it the uh, the poor part of town maybe i'm not sure but you know there's no castles and all that so i'm heading up towards that big gate in the distance so not back the way i came a nice wooden beam house there Uh, there'll be some guards in the gate. We enter the town proper. Oh, pumpkins on the hedge. Very nice. So through the main gate. And then we're uh, heading up to the... To the... Um, what's the administration district? Which is inside the, the uh, castle walls. So, here we go. Now there's several around here. First off, is this, this market is itself a point of interest. There we go. Upper Merchant Pavilion. 
And then we want to find the bank, which is one of these shops over here. Here we go. Banker. Bank of Owl's Head. And then upstairs from the bank. Ooh. One of these people. Is it the Guild Registrar? Yes. The Guild Registrar is a point of interest. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's uh, head back outside. I'm hoping I've not forgotten any of them as I go around, otherwise it's going to be a bit embarrassing. Um, there is a good blacksmith just over here. Some very nice augmented plate armour usually. When you're in the market for that sort of thing. Now I'm going to head out of this gate. Uh, there is a, there is, well, it's not really a point of interest. This is the entrance to the clink, which is a instance dungeon. But in this release, it's not a point of interest. The next point of interest, ooh, lag. The next point of interest, we'll look in and see the tower with the uh, exciting lightning and stuff on it, which may be what's causing the lag. You can say I'm heading towards it anyway, and we need to go into the tower. And there we go. Well, not actually into it, as it turns out. Location of Moon Tower Vista. So that's seven. And now head back down the hill into the uh, market part of town. So this here, where there's a doorman. This is the Fire Lotus Tavern. There it goes, Fire Lotus Tavern. Uh, I'll just pop the door open. There are some uh, quests and stuff in there you can do. Earn a bit of gold. Always worth doing. But for now, we're carrying on. And there's a crafting pavilion. There we go. So what have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've lost count. Anyway, so this uh, this Market Street is also a point of interest. Lower Merchant Row, and then on this street there is a skills trainer, and you have to get quite close to him, closer than what you'd have to just to talk to him. Where is it? Go on, pop up. There you go. That's how close you have to get to the skills trainer for it to register. That's a point of interest. So that, I believe, is 11. And the 12th one is on the way back out of town. So you go past all the guards and you come here to the bridge. Some more guards. Now what you're looking for is over this wall, over this wall somewhere, there's a ladder. I'm fairly sure there's a ladder. There it is. You can just fall down, obviously. You don't have to use the ladder. But I'm using the ladder. And over here is entrance to Owl's Head Sewers. And I believe that is all 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, Guild Registrar. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I should now be getting the achievement Explore Out Head. There it goes. Now there's a guard under the water there, for no apparent reason. That's probably a bug. There we go. Explore Out Head achievement. Shadow the Avatar R23.